Right, my new T-Road travel tripod. And there's a mouthful. Uh, just some of the things that you get with it first and some of the things that you don't get with it. So comes in a nice sturdy box, which you'll probably never use again. Uh, comes with a carry case, which is very useful actually. Uh, so you will use that. And this is it made up. Now, I'm probably just gonna go backwards here. It has a quick release top, uh, which basically, oops, there, there. So you can see that there. So it's a quick release top and so that you don't have to turn what's on top of it, you can turn that thumb screw there. Right, this doesn't come with it. Yeah, so don't be thinking that it does. This is uh, this is off a uh, selfie stick so that I can use it. So I'm gonna throw that to one side. This is the quick release pad, which is superb because what it allows you to do is get your digital SLR or whatever you have got. Could be um, a mirrorless camera. And you pop that into there, tighten it up. Much easier when you haven't got a plaster on your thumb. And then that is obviously then cancelized with a quick release. Right, so tighten it up. So now, if I quickly want to take pictures, the whole purpose of a quick release is it's quick release. You go like that, you take it off, snap, 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 with the lens off, you take your pictures, you put it back on, and it's locked in place and it's not going anywhere. So, to quickly go through the tripod, if we just come back a bit. Right, I'm going to take the camera off for a moment. So the tripod comes with easily adjustable legs. All you do is take, are they all off? You see that? All just collapsing. And when they've collapsed, close the clips and you have your tripod all closed. That's locked at the moment. If I unscrew it, it just allows me to close it. And also, so there we go. That is it. Uh, that is about a foot, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll put the exact dimensions on, but I'm just going to extend it again. So as you can see, as soon as you unlock it, the legs just drop open. Now this is ideal for the reviews that I do. I've also got another, uh, I think I've got two T-Road um, tripods. One's a normal one, uh, three actually. I've got a normal one. I've got one with a, a monopod in the center. And I've also got a heavy duty one, uh, which allows me to put a, an arm on it. But this is the one that we're talking about at the moment. And again, this is unscrewed, so I can turn that around wherever I want to. On it, it has uh, a bubble level, as you can see there. So if I did want it flat, I could quite easily do that. Something that I find really useful, more so on taller ones, but on this one as well, is this hook. Do you imagine it? This is moving around all over the place when you're trying to adjust it, yeah, with the handle. Like that. You see, I'm trying to move it, but it's moving the whole thing. Although it's got rubber pads on the bottom, there isn't enough weight on it. What this does is, you can hang the weight on it. And when you've got a weight hung on it, I'm moving it around now. And as you can see, it's not travelling anywhere on the table, yeah? So that is what that's for. Um, and to be honest with you, that's pretty much it. The best things about it are, it's the right size for me. You don't need to have all the legs out. I can just have two legs out, like so. I can quickly adjust the height by bringing that up and moving that, as we can see that. Yeah. And we've also got the, um, the quick release on it as well. So all in all, if I screw that down, if I'm not mistaken, it tightens. Yeah, so that's not going anywhere. So you've got lot, lots and lots of adjustment on this. Oh, sorry, something that I haven't said. we just come up to the top here. Right, this, can you see the screw thread? If I just turn it to the side there, there's a screw thread. So let's just say, if I put the camera back in, obviously that's going to take portrait pictures at the moment. 
Yeah, portrait pictures. Let's say I want to, uh, sorry. Landscape, that's taking landscape pictures. Let's say I want to take a portrait. How do I do that? Well, if I unscrew the thumb screw there, it allows that to come up to there. I can tighten it up and here presto, we are now taking portrait pictures as opposed to landscape pictures. So all in all, this is an extremely useful tripod. It's not overly large because I don't need an overly large one. It's the right size for putting on a table or taking into the car, carrying around with you and taking photos in a small enclosed area, which is perfect for reviewing.